My name is Richard. I'm a software engineer on Threads. I'm passionate about user experiences, and I've been building UI on Android for about 11 years now. Threads is a new text-based conversation app built by the Instagram team, where communities can come together to talk about everything from the topics they care about today to what will be trending tomorrow. Over 90% of our UI is built in Compose. Threads is built on top of the Instagram code base, where we've been using standard views for a long time. We wanted to build our new app from scratch with Compose because we thought it would enable us to move faster than refactoring our existing large application. We built and shipped Threads in five months, and this exceeded our speed expectations for how quickly we could build an app of this quality and at this scale. And a lot of the team was actually new to Compose when we started building this but they found it really easy to get started and they had a lot of fun using Compose. Compose provides all-encompassing modern APIs that ship with the app, and this let us spend less time worrying about backwards compatibility or missing features or differing functionality between different versions of Android. Because Compose code ships with the app, we can also step through our system UI code while we're debugging our app, which is super helpful. Compose's design encourages a modular and plugin approach to development. One example is modifiers. Modifiers provide all sorts of functionality that are inherently reusable. We made our own custom modifiers for things like our custom click behaviors and our threadline illustrations. This allows us to apply our branding and use the correct layouts throughout the app and move things around while we were iterating on what the design of the app should be. Compose has reached the point where it does pretty much everything we needed to but it was easy to interoperate with views as necessary. And we did that in a couple of places. One was with our videos, and the other one was the media picker in our composer. We made sure that threads would resize properly on large screens and foldables. And I think the way Compose is designed actually made it really easy for threads to just work through these types of configuration changes. I think people who have been doing standard view development for a long time will be pleasantly surprised with the simplicity and elegance of solutions that are built in Compose. Whenever I come across a view or an XML-based layout, I kind of get like a visceral reaction, and it just makes you want to just go back to the Compose code. Jetpack Compose has been really fun to use, and we're really excited for future developments from the Android team. At the scale of Meta's apps, even a small performance improvement can have a measurable impact on engagement and even revenue. Given the positive results we've seen in Threads so far, we're really excited to continue adopting Compose in the main Instagram app. For developers who are building new apps, I would definitely recommend using Compose. Not only is it enjoyable to use, but I think it would set your team up for success in the future. Yeah.